Hello there! Welcome to the ULM Library! Uh, hi, yeah. My professor says that for my class, I'm going to need to go to the library. I've, uh, never been in a library before. My parents were really into reading. Most of what they taught me was about grabbing rabbits by my talons and things like that. Oh yes, my family's just like that. This is the reference desk. You can always come here to get help with finding resources for assignments, projects, papers, and more. Well, uh, okay. I guess I want to read some books about ancient Egypt. Alright, we probably have a lot of books about that. I'll try a keyword search. Hmm, a lot of these are ebooks. Is that okay? I just want to read a book in my wings, so... Okay, we'll just look at the print ones then. If I give you some of these call numbers, you'll be able to find many books about ancient Egypt around them in the stacks. Um, call numbers? And what's a stacks? You stack the books? Sort of. The stacks is the general library book collection. I'll go up and show you. Okay, here we are on the second floor. So this is the stacks. Are these all the books in the library? It's part of the stacks. This floor only has call numbers A through F. The call numbers written on the books help us organize all the books by subject using the Library of Congress Classification, or LC. LC. More like L no C. It might seem confusing at first, but it's actually pretty simple. It's in alphabetical and numerical order, so all we need to do is break this up into parts. The first letter means that we need to find all the Ds, and then once we find the Ds, we need to find the DTs. I think I get it. These book call numbers are in alphabetical order. DA, DB, DC. You're right. Now we look for the number. 83. These are whole numbers, by the way. After the decimal point, do the same thing again. Think of it as a sub-call number. Hey, I think I see it. <laughs> Whoops. Great, this is the one. That was easier than you thought, right? Are these all the books about ancient Egypt in the library? For a broad topic like this, no. We probably have more books somewhere else in the library. I can help you find them. Okay, but what's that place over there? Is this the bird section? No, but it probably has books about birds. That's an eagle symbol showing where we keep government documents. We are a partial depository library, and we have publications made by the federal and state governments. The library has other collections too. Maybe they have books that can help you. Here's one that's in our Special Collections and Archives department. You can tell because the catalog says so. Where's that? It's on the fifth floor, right where the elevators open up. I can take you up there and show you. This is where we keep books that are too important or delicate to be kept in the stacks. Because of that, this is one of the parts of the library where food and drink is not allowed. And these books cannot be checked out. Ah, uh, rats. Well, I guess you better get out of here then. Okay, let's go in. In here, we have lots of books about local history, southern history, the history of ULM, Monroe, university records, and much more, including physical artifacts like this. Wow, the great hawks of ULM's history. 
So now we can go find your book using the call number just like before. This book is perfect. I wish I could check it out. Oh, I know. When I pick up a good book, I just can't put it down. You can check out the books we found in the stacks. How do I do that? To check out books, take them to the circulation desk on the first floor. Your ULM ID is your library card. Thanks a lot for your help, but I don't know if I can fly into campus every day. No problem. You can log in to the ULM library databases anytime at ulm.edu slash library. We have databases with journals, ebooks, magazines, and much more. These resources aren't available for free anywhere else, so have a look at our off-campus access page to learn how to log in first. You use your campus-wide ID and your birth, month, and year represented in four digits. And if you need any help, just give us an email or a phone call. That sounds cool, but I gotta go to class now. Well, okay. Good luck with your, um... What's your major again? Dance!